What is up YouTube and welcome to this Agent Mobius Complete History video. If like me you are super excited for Loki to drop on Disney Plus on June the 9th. Of course everyone's favourite bad guy is the main draw but I am looking forward to the insane stuff that is going to happen with time and all that as he becomes an agent of the Time Variance Authority. However, I have another reason to be super pumped, and that is that Owen Wilson is in it. I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, Mr. Wilson there, and while he is playing one of Marvel's lesser-known characters, it's going to be a lot of fun and a wild ride, but who is Agent Mobius. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like down below and subscribe with notifications on to never miss a video. Now, Mobius or Mobius M. Mobius is a middle manager with the Time Variance Authority, and his look is actually based on the real life continuity expert for Marvel, Mark Gruenwald. Now, of course, the TVA is the prime focus of the Loki TV show, and in the comics, it has a long and convoluted history and was created by the Timekeepers, which I expect the show to go deep, deep into, and we may even feature Kang the Conqueror and Immortus, possibly at some point. Mobius is a clone, as all of the middle management are in the TVA, in the Null time zone, and they look exactly the same. They're all cloned to do a specific job, and that is ensure that the timeline runs smoothly, prune dangerous timelines, and preside over time courts as well, uh, with the help of their cloned justices, freelancers, and time police just like justice peace to stop dangerous time travel and this is pretty much where our story starts mobius first appeared in fantastic four number 352 and he was notified by one of the many many people who work below him that a timeline is becoming a bit of a peril now reed richards and dr doom were fighting as they do using time travel and their actions could risk an entire timeline and continuity failure. It's then that Mobius dispatches the Time Police and Justice Peace to arrest them, but of course Doctor Doom resists and ended up getting killed, except he doesn't as he's far too smart for a small little thing like dying. The rest of the Fantastic Four are then taken to the Time Variance Authority's pocket realm headquarters in the Null time zone. Now they are interviewed by Mobius and the TVA about their actions, but Ben Grimm, like a big mouth, starts spouting off that the Avengers and the good old X-Men and their days of future past have done far, far worse. Now, this piques the interest of Mobius and puts them in contempt of court and wants to learn more about their timeline and actually cull it due to too much time tampering. However, Reed and Sue play up to Mobius and stroke his ego to get a tour of the Time Variance Authority headquarters. Now, they see the infinite desks of people watching for time infractions, sort of like that authority in Umbrella Academy, but of course, this, this came out first. It was, of course, founded by the Timekeepers, but again, that's another video which I'm planning on very, very soon. Let me know in the comments if you do want that. Now, Reed steals the data of his universe, and the Fantastic Four manage to break out. Uh, but Ben is offered the chance to become human again, but he refuses in Marvel's first family escape via the interdimensional time train. Yes, it, it's an actual train. However, this fallout did actually spill over into Fantastic Four Annual number 27. Mobius has hidden the fact that his data was stolen and fired every agent on the case from his superiors, but still his boss, Mr. Alternity, noticed it and threatens him with a demotion if he doesn't get the data back in a specific time frame. And, well, demotion is the worst thing for a middle management type, and he sets about finding the Fantastic Four and Reed universe and timeline and yes all that stuff now while reed is actually missing he manages to capture the remaining members plus scott lang and take them back to the tva however it all goes wrong for mobius as the whole group escape and well he has a risk of being demoted if he cannot get the timeline data however scott has the novel idea of getting him off his back by saying hey why don't you just go to a competitor? But it's unheard of as Mobius lists the Congress of Realities, the Alight Domain, 
the Kang Dynasty, and the Delubric Consortium as his many, many competitors. And he actually goes with his former prisoners to Chronopolis to meet with Kang, who hilariously offers him a superb job offer. As Sue then asks where Reed is, and Mobius goes back and demands the same terms. And, well, he gets it. Poor Mr. Tesseract, Mobius' colleague, is then tasked with reconstructing the data from scratch. Now, we then pick up with Mobius briefly in 4, issue 15 through 18, where Franklin accidentally wipes out 8 minutes from the timeline, which Mobius warns Reed that it's causing anomalies. This leads to a wild, crazy adventure, and Mobius is only really in the beginning and the end here, as it leads to the rise of the villain Ramades, who the TVA then wipe out from existence and Mobius has sort of saved the day, kind of. Now Mobius then pops up again when Jennifer Waters, aka She-Hulk, was arrested by the Time Variance Authority for trying to warn Hawkeye about his fate and then put on trial. She is to be wiped from existence, but a council argue that she's too imperative to the timeline to wipe her whole history while the opposing council said she's irrelevant now eventually she is acquitted of being erased from time but is still punished as mobius makes her take an avenger from jail and ensure they do not actually commit any more time crimes now as well as this she is actually charged with taking matthew hawk back to the present and well that's it for mr mobius so far and well let me know what you think down below are you excited for loki do you want a time variance authority and timekeepers complete history do let me know in the comments and please do subscribe with notifications on if you want more from us as we will be covering loki weekly i'll see you soon and goodbye